what is the difference between a preliminary injunction and a temporary restraining order or even a status quo. Of late, ang dami nating naririnig uh, sa ating paligid about injunction, TRO, status quo. So, unahin natin ang temporary restraining order. Ang temporary restraining order eh, issued by the court to prohibit or ask a party to cease from doing what he is supposed to do. Like, for example, in, an, in a demolition case, ayan, eh, natiti RO yan. Uh, actually, similar din siya sa injunction, pero sa injunction, it is on a more permanent basis. A temporary restraining order is good for 72 hours, but it can be extended to 20 days. While a preliminary injunction, a more or less permanent yan. And uh, this issue is usually filed before the Regional Trial Court or even the Court of Appeals or Supreme Court. Yung ang sinasabi natin, uh, it is an order to restrain a party from taking a certain action which will damage or injure the petitioner. So upang magkaroon ka ng TRO or preliminary injunction, dapat may pakita mo sa korte na pag tinuloy yung ginagawang action na uh, you're asking to be restrained, you will incur grave or irreparable damage. A classic example is uh, uh, pag dinidemolish yung bahay mo but you have proof of ownership or title to the property or uh, you will incur damages if the, uh, the property is demolished then that will be a ground for TRO or a more permanent injunction. So, ang importante dito is yung damage to be incurred, hindi future yung damage. So, you cannot, uh, you cannot claim a petition for injunction based on an inchoate or future damage. Kailangan aktual yung damages na ma-incur mo. So, uh, ang temporary restraining order, like I said, is good for 20 days. Pag hindi nag-issue ang korte ng TRO, meron din tinatawag na status quo order. Ito ay tabla-tabla lang. Kasi sa status quo order, sasabihin ng judge, uh, let us maintain the status quo prior to the filing of the petition. In other words, kung ano ang kondisyon ng isang, uh, isang, for example, lupa, before the issuance or before the filing of the petition, that is the status quo. So, walang galawan. So, that is what a status quo order is. Actually, a status quo order is uh, similar to a TRO. Yun lang walang TRO that has been issued. So, what do you do if despite the TRO, eh, tinuloy yung action na gusto nilang gawin, then you can file an action to declare that body or that person in contempt of court. And uh, medyo yung penalty nito pag uh, indirect contempt or contempt, uh, 30 days in prison or 30,000 fine at the discretion of the court. So more or less, uh, what happens here is uh, uh, it is best to uphold the uh, validity of the TRO in case merong nag-issue ang Regional Trial Court. Nung araw, ang NCIP ay pwedeng mag-issue ng injunction or TRO. But in a Supreme Court decision, sabi ng Supreme Court, hindi na pwede mag-issue ang NCIP ng injunction. So they left it all to the wisdom of our judicial courts. Again, uh, to prevent something which would cause you irreparable damage or injury, what you need is a TRO or a preliminary injunction.